Meme Lord Vlogs, Exploring a Haunted House, Not Clickbait, written by Error in Loading, and read for you by Eleanor Elizabeth. Summary, Peter, Shuri, Ned and MJ break into an abandoned house for Halloween. They vlog their experience, and it gets chaotic. Tony stresses out. Happy Halloween! By the way, the world thinks that Peter Parker is Tony Stark's adopted kid, and nothing more than that. The video starts with a long beep and four stickers as the intro. The stickers were of four particular faces, Ned, Peter, MJ and Shuri. When Peter made the intro, he decided that it was all he needed and it was perfect. Once the beeping stopped, Peter's face appeared on the screen. The audio was a little choppy, but it soon cleared up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Parker Vlogs. I'm here with the meme squad. The camera flips round and shows MJ, Ned and Shuri walking next to him. They were outside in some wooded area and it was pitch black. They had the camera light on as well as flashlights that guided them down the path. MJ nodded at the camera, Ned waved happily and Shuri saluted. The camera flipped back around to Peter. Guys, tell the fans what we're doing! Peter exclaimed, running up to them so he was walking alongside them and not behind them. Okay, okay, so basically there's this abandoned house in the forest near MJ's house that we've always been terrified of and we're going exploring in it. Ned explained excitedly. It's for the spooky season, Shuri added. Peter nodded. Yep, it's rumoured to be haunted. It's just an old house, guys. I doubt there'll be any ghosts or anything like that, MJ scoffed. Peter, Shuri and Ned gasped. Peter shoved the camera in MJ's face as if to shame her. Actually, it could be haunted, thank you very much. Doctor Strange is evidence. He once told me that he's able to separate his spirit from his body or something like that. And I don't know about you, but that screams ghost to me. The boy explained, gaining hums of agreement from Ned and Shuri. Well, we'll see about that, MJ smirked and covered the camera. They were in a different location, which looked to be a rusty old front porch. Guys, we made it! Peter whispered to the camera. I'm ready to fight some demons, Shuri stated, who was standing by the creepy door. Peter, how are you even going to post this? Mr Stark told you you weren't allowed to go out and break into an abandoned house. If he sees this video, he'll know you snuck out, Ned reminded. The screen zoomed in on Peter, whose mouth was in a straight line. Well, I didn't think of that. The camera was flipped around, showing Peter's point of view. He opened the door with a loud creak. The spooky noise sent shivers down their spines and they all shuddered. The camera panned around the front room, which was full of dust, cobwebs and rusty furniture. I can already sense the spirits, Peter joked, the camera pointing at him again. You're ridiculous, MJ laughed. Peter blushed from that comment, but he cut it out of the video. They all walked cautiously into the room while shushing each other and the camera flipped back around to show the creepy living room slash kitchen. I think this is the most rebellious thing I've ever done, Peter said once they were all in the room. Peter panned the camera to MJ as she spoke. You must have a sad, sad life. Peter flipped the camera back to him. I'm Tony Stark's son. I don't think my life ever gets sad. He said with a thumbs up as an animated sunglasses slid on his face and the frame froze as a gangster sound effect played. The frame cut as Ned spoke. Guys, focus on the ghost hunting. R right, yeah. Okay, guys, we're going down this hallway now. Peter tried to explain, but the sound of a slamming door stopped him. They all yelled in terror and whipped around. Peter faced the camera at the door that had mysteriously slammed shut. There was a silence until Shuri spoke up. Um, still think ghosts don't exist, MJ? It, it was probably just the wind, the girl responded, although she sounded very unsure of herself. Or maybe it's just Doctor Strange. She joked, trying to ease the tension. Dude, that would be so cool if it was, Ned said before the scene cut. Okay, that was kind of scary, but we're moving on, Peter said, the camera facing him. Uh, I think this is like an office or something? The camera flipped around to show the room they just walked in. No way, there's a typewriter in here. How old is this place? Ned exclaimed, shining his flashlight on the machine. MJ hurried over with her flashlight and traced the letters. Cool, she mumbled. There is a bookcase over here. Maybe that will tell us, depending on the release dates? Shuri suggested, pulling out a book from the shelf, which made a giant dust cloud float in the air. Peter got out his phone and showed the time to the camera. It showed 3.07am. 
and below it were notifications that he blurred out. It's spooky hour, guys. Ned lifted his head up. 3am? Yep. Wait, someone take the camera, he said. And Shuri was the closest, so she took it from the boy's hands and filmed him. Peter posed next to a giant portrait on the wall. It looked like some random Victorian dude, but it was still pretty cool. Oh my god! Ned suddenly screamed. Shuri instantly whipped the camera around to film Ned. What? she said. Ned pointed at the door. There was a... a, a I don't know what it was. This... this creepy shadow thing! You're not fooling anyone, Leeds, MJ said from beside him. Ned swatted her arm. I'm being totally serious, guys. This was a mistake. Let's go, he said, walking around the desk to leave. I'm not looking to get possessed. Ned, wait! That's why we're here, to see ghosts and other creepy stuff, Peter said, stopping him from leaving. The white boy is right. Come on, let's explore more, Shuri said, handing the camera back to Peter. <coughs> okay, Ned is a little shaken up, but we're good. Everything is good, Peter whispered. All of them screamed as a shell fell to the floor right in front of them. Okay, never mind, never mind, we're not good, not good at all, he said between breaths as they ran the other way. Suddenly, all the windows threw themselves open, letting in strong wind that sent chills down their spine. Okay, I admit it, ghost exists, can we go now please? MJ gasped out, voice shaking. Yep, 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 Peter stuttered as they ran to the front door. Peter was at the front of the line, so he instantly threw the door open and ran outside only to bump into a solid figure and fall to the ground. He screamed in terror when the figure grabbed him and pulled him to his feet. Ah, demon! He screamed, his friends screaming behind him. Nope, just me. Oh. Mr. Stark? The man squinted at the flashlight that was being shone in his face, and everyone stopped their terrified screaming. Yeah, Mr. Stark. And you know what you are? Grounded, that's what. Peter couldn't bring himself to care. He was just glad that his dad was here to save them from the ghosts. Mr. Stark, there were ghosts in there. We were almost killed, he exclaimed, hoping he would gain some sympathy points. There were no ghosts. Yes, there were, Peter shot back, his friends nodding along. No, there weren't, a different voice said. The teens jumped and looked at the figure approaching. Oh, uh, hi, Dr. Strange, sir, Peter stuttered, his friends also shifting nervously. Stephen stood next to Tony and crossed his arms. I have a stranger over here to freak you out. It's your punishment for sneaking out of the house at shit o'clock in the morning after I said no. Tony's eyes hardened and Peter fought back the urge to gulp. Well, once you look at that, I was right about the whole Doctor Strange thing, MJ mumbled from beside him. Peter whipped his head round to look at her in offence. Hey, I was the one who said... Peter, Tony's voice interrupted. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. He mumbled. Strange will portal all your friends home, since he's so generous. Meanwhile, you can explain to me why you've decided to be so mind-lumbingly stupid. Let's go. Tony turned on his heel and walked away. Peter sighed and gave his friends an apologetic look before following his dad, Shuri trailing along behind him. Peter turned the camera around so he was in shot. We've been busted, guys. Mr. Stark ruined all our fun, he said, and then pointed the camera at Tony. The man instantly shoved it away. Get that damn thing out of my face. Hey guys, it's Ella, and I hope you're all having a very spooky day today. Happy Halloween, and thank you so much for listening. Please be sure to like the video if you liked it and to boost my serotonin levels, and subscribe if you want to be notified when I make new videos. Be sure to hop into the comments and gush with me about how hilarious this fic was, and until I see you again, be sure to practice some self-love by guzzling down some of that good H2O, making sure you don't skip breakfast, getting the recommended amount of sleep, and yes, that is a fucking threat. And I will see you laters.